and welcome to or back to my channel for today's video we're going to be continuing the building of shady creek by adding an indoor arena and i'm so excited we're going to be putting it right here so let's go ahead and just jump right in and begin building okay so first things first i'm just gonna take some brick and i'm basically just going to like outline the whole thing um, so it's 70 blocks long and then 50 blocks wide and the long side is going to be coming down here and then the short side is going to be going this way and I'll just outline it and then I'll cut out the um, entrances. Okay, for one of the entrances, I really wanted it to be down here so that you just have this nice little short walk right from the barn into the indoor arena. And I'm just going to line it up so that it's nice and symmetrical. And then I'll just go to the other side, do the same thing, and then I'll cut it out and then make the little arch. <laughs> Okay, so my second entrance is going to be down here. I thought it would just look nice to have one down here, but I'm just going to cut it out. And I know something looks off because it's not centered, but don't worry, I'll, I'll center it. Okay, so next I'm just going to take Deep Slate and put it over the door. Um, but also, a lot of y'all, well not a lot, but a couple of y'all have asked me about the swim mod and if I'm going to get it. And ugh, I wish I could. I want to so bad. Um, I think it's been recently released, I think. I don't know when it exactly came out. Um, but I've seen so many videos about it and it just looks so cool. And I so wish I could, but I don't have a computer. Hopefully someday I will get one though and... I'm so excited for what I do because I will download it and it would be so fun to make videos with it. But for the time being, I don't. Just have to stick with Minecraft PE. But yeah, I am. De that's something that I am working on because I really want to get a computer soon. I think it would help with editing and um, it would be so fun to have PC. But anyway, um, down here I'm just doing the same thing. Deep slate and outline the arch door thingy. And now I'm going to take spruce and I'm going to use them to sort of separate the windows because we want a lot of windows. Um, but I'm just going to do six and then put one and then count six and then put another and then so on. Um, and so for the end, it can't all be six blocks because it's very uneven. So I'm just going to do seven and then eight right here, which it looks fine if you don't look too close. Um, and then I'm just going to cut down and put them like that. I think it looks a lot better that way. And then you're going to build them up one and then fill it all in with windows. Also people, I'm just really excited for fall and I want to do a fun fall barn vlog so bad which I think could be so cute. Um, and also I want to acknowledge that I haven't posted in a month and I'm very bad with posting <laughs> as y'all probably know and it must be frustrating so I, yeah. Um, at the end of August and September were kind of busy months. I was on vacation and things like that so it just wasn't the best but I won't lie I was lacking a lot of motivation um, but hopefully I'm kind of back and I'll start posting more often hopefully don't get your hopes up because you know me I might disappear for another month so <laughs> sorry um, but um, like I said I'm just excited for fall and I have a lot of fun ideas and I want to get another horse possibly like a project horse and start some training videos just lots of ideas and I'm so excited so hopefully I have some good things coming Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the roof. I'm just using the same colors as the barn and I'm gonna start out with cord slabs and just put them all along here. So the roof is pretty simple. I'm just gonna take the slabs and then build it all the way up until you get to the top. Here's how the frame's looking, and now I'm just gonna take deep slate slabs and fill it all in. <laughs> 
I finally finished the roof. There's still a couple more little things that I'm gonna do. Um, but anyway, let's fill this in. I already did the other side, um, but I'll show you how to do this side because it's pretty much, it's the exact same thing. Um, but we're just gonna take dark oak planks and do one strip of those, and you're gonna go all the way until you can't because you can't, it can't be flush with the roof because there's a little hole, but I will fill that in with a deep slate slab. Okay, so I'm gonna get started on the window. I believe it's six blocks wide, but here I'm just trying to center it in between this, in between the door, but it's, yes, it's six blocks. And then we're gonna build it up. We want it pretty tall. I thought it looked really nice with the, how big the like arena roof is. It just needed a big grand window. Anyway, you're gonna build it all the way up and then I kind of rounded it off so that it looked cool, just like um, added some extra detail. Um, and then you just do this, which I think, yep, nope. <laughs> that looks way off. Um, let me just fix this real quick. And then you're gonna fill it all in with windows. And then we're gonna put a strip of brick on both sides. And put some slabs here, fill this in with glass, and then now that we have the windows built, we're just going to fill it all in with brick. We have these little cracks, so I'm just going to fill them in with deep slate slabs. And now it's time to fill it all in with sand, and you're probably wondering that it just looks really dark in here, but I'll show you my little secret here in a little bit. Now I'm just adding a little detail to the windows. You're just going to take fence posts and put them on both sides, and then slabs on top. Okay, so now we're gonna work on some dormers. I already built the first one and it's nine blocks from the edge. And so now I'm just gonna go to the other side and count nine blocks and then I'll build the second one on like the other side. And then I'm gonna build one in the middle. These are a little bit of a different style than I normally do. It's more like flat, I guess. Um, but I feel like the roof just needed a little something. It's very big and so it needed something to make it look a little bit better so I thought these would do the job but I really like how they turned out I like that they're smaller and just kind of subtle and not super crazy but yeah Time for my favorite thing, the roof topper. And this is just gonna go right in the middle, centered in the middle of the roof. But these are my favorite things. I have to build one in every barn or it just doesn't feel complete. Um, but it definitely really goes with the style of these barns and I have to put one so that it matches the um, 
boarding barn because that it has one over there you can see um, but I just I feel like I've shown you guys how to build these a lot of the times it's just the same exact thing every time you just build up a little tower thingy and then the roof is quite easy actually it's really simple um, but it just looks so good and it definitely completes every barn <laughs> You know those days when your fingers just like aren't working and you just can't play? Like that's that's today. Today is one of those days. So if you've noticed I've been like misplacing and just not building very great, um, that, I don't know. I haven't played in a while, so <laughs> that's probably why. Um, but here's the finished product and like I said, definitely completes it. So all we have left is I have to put the little dormers on the other side, which I won't bore you with. Um, but that's pretty much it for the, like the structure of the arena. But now I'm just going to build some landscaping and then some jumps. Okay, so the inside of the arena is looking very dark and very sad, um, but we're gonna bright up, brighten it up using light blocks. Um, and I've even seen like some people do like all glass for their roofs, but I always usually do just regular roofs, but that makes it super dark. So I have to go and get light blocks. So to get these, cause they're not in the inventory, you have to go into your chat and then do slash give and then just type in your name and then light block underscore. Oh, ugh. I need to slow down and just take my time. I'm trying to go way too fast. Dibble underscore lock. And then you're going to pick um, however many you want, which the number doesn't really matter because in creative, you're just going to get like unlimited. So you can pretty much just choose any number. I'm just going to put five. And then you're going to pick a number between one and 15, which is like the brightness. And you don't want to go too high because I think it can be a little bit laggy. So I'm going to try and do just 11. And then here we go. So we have our light block and they're invisible. When you place them first, you can like see them, but then when you click away it, it's invisible. So I kind of try to do it strategic so that it doesn't, I don't know if I said that right, strategic, <laughs> so that it doesn't look um, kind of blotchy, but I usually just, I'm gonna actually, you know, just go all over the place. It really, it'll look fine. If it's not like perfect, then it'll give some texture to the sand but I'm just gonna start over here where it's already pretty good and just brighten all of this up and then we're gonna keep going and then I'll just keep going eventually until I get into the middle okay so <laughs> I ended up going absolutely crazy with these little dudes and pretty much placing them everywhere because it was looking pretty blotchy and I raised a lot of them to 15. Here are some 14s and 14, 14, 13, 14. Um, but I think that they need to be a lot brighter than 11. It just looks a lot better. Um, but so let me click away and I'll show you the final look. So there we go. And I think it turned out quite good. You can still see like how the light is a little uneven in some places and it looks a little bit darker but I think it maybe kind of like just makes the sand look a little more like lighter and darker in certain areas maybe like if it's more wet or more dry or something like that I think it looks completely fine even maybe more a little more realistic um, but this is the final look and it's so much brighter in here than it was before which is super nice and I still get to keep my roof which is great but um, yes we're now we're gonna work on some landscaping and then it'll be fun to build some little jumps in here Okay, I'm just finishing up this path. I'm gonna fill it in with 
um, concrete powder and then I'm gonna go in with some wool and wool carpet just to add a little extra detail and I love to bring out the sand where the path meets the arena just to make it look a little more messy and I just think it looks great and then I'm building another pasture because I was thinking that this place needs more pastures because it only has those two small ones and eventually there's gonna be a lot of horses here so I thought this was a great place to put one and I'm actually gonna put two more somewhere but I'll get to that in another video now I'm just adding another gate and then <laughs> going in with some grass and all of that good stuff and then I'm gonna make a little flower bed by both of the entrances to the arena and the barn Okay, so next I'm just going to make this pasture a little bit bigger because I have all the space between it and the indoor arena. I just, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'll probably just end up building a bunch of trees, but I thought why not make this pasture a little bit bigger and then eliminate some of the space that I have to figure out <laughs> what to do with. This is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!